So in this lesson, we're looking at finding the equation of a line. Now the equation of a straight line, we use the formula y equals mx plus c. And the letter m here, well that represents the gradient or the slope of our line. And the letter c, that represents the y-intercept of the line or where the line cuts through the y-axis. So let's have a look at an example of this. Here we're asked to find the equation of the line given to us in our diagram here. So let's use our formula, y equals mx plus c. The first thing we'll work out is this m here, or the gradient of our line. And we'll use the formula rise over run to calculate that. So let's go to our diagram now. We'll make a right angle triangle there, out of the x and y intercepts. Before we do any calculating of values though, have a look at our line. What do you notice about the way that it's sloping? It's going uphill, isn't it, when we go from left to right. So we'd say that that has a positive gradient. Really important to note that before we start working out any values. Now let's have a look at the value of our rise. That's just the height of our triangle here. We can see that goes from the origin there, 0 up to, that y value there of 6. So our rise is 6 units. Our run then, that's the length across the base of our triangle. That goes from our 0 there across to minus 3. Now we won't write that as minus 3 though, it's just a length, so we'll just label in 3 units there on our diagram. So for our rise over run then, we've got our rise of 6, and that'll be over the top of our run there of 3. Now 6 over 3, that can be broken down a bit, can't it? 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Alright, so let's get rid of that working now. We know that our gradient is equal to 2, so therefore our m value is equal to 2. So now we need to work out our plus C here, or our y-intercept. Well, there's our y-axis there. Where does the line cut through that y-axis? Right there, isn't it? That value of 6. So y-intercept is equal to 6. So therefore the equation of our line is equal to our y equals our mx, where m equals 2, plus our C, where our C value is equal to 6. And the equation of our line then is y is equal to 2x plus 6. Let's have a look at a second example now. We're asked to find the equation of the line given to us in this diagram here. So we'll use our formula y equals mx plus c again. We'll work out our m value to begin with, our gradient, using that rise over run. Let's look at our diagram. We'll get our right angle triangle there, but we'll check the slope of our line firstly. This time, which way is it sloping? Head downhill, isn't it? So that means we've got a negative gradient this time. And we'll put that negative sign in there first of all, so we don't forget that later on in our working. Now for our rise. Well, once again, it's the height of our triangle. We can see there we're going from the origin down to minus 2. But the height itself would be equal to 2 units. And then our run, this distance here across the base of our triangle, from 0 across to minus 2 again, so we'll still label 2 as the length of that base there. All right, let's work it out. Rise over run. Our rise there is equal to 2. That'll be over our run, which is also 2. Now, looking at that value, negative 2 over 2, well, that can simplify to give us negative 1. So we'll get rid of that again. Now, we know our gradient's equal to minus 1, so therefore our m value is also equal to minus 1. So now for our plus c, or our y-intercept. Well, there's our y-axis there, and there's the point where the line cuts through it. So our y-intercept is minus 2. So the equation of our line then, we get our y is equal to, now our mx. And that's where our m is equal to minus 1. Well, we'll put our minus down and we can write minus 1x. We don't need to worry about the minus 1 though. We know it's there, but we don't need to write it. So we'll just leave that as minus x. And then our plus c, well our y-intercept is minus 2 giving us the equation of the line y equals minus x minus 2. Let's look at a third example here. We're asked to match each equation with the correct table of values. Now we've got four different equations to work from there and four table of values to match up. So we're going to look at each equation one at a time and using our y equals mx plus c we're going to work out the gradient and the y-intercept for each of those equations. So let's look at this one here, y equals 5x minus 3. Well, the 5 there, that's our number, our coefficient of x. So our gradient's equal to 5. 
And our number by itself, it's called a constant term. That's minus 3, so that's our y-intercept. Our second one, now be careful here because they've changed the order around here. We've got the 5 minus 3x. Now minus 3, that's still our number with our x, so that's our gradient. And this time our constant term, or our number by itself, 5, that's our y-intercept. So our third equation, our 5 there, will be our gradient. And then our plus 3, that'll be our y-intercept. And for our fourth one, our 3 here will be our gradient. And our plus 5, that'll be our y-intercept. Now let's look at our table of values. We'll start off with A. We're going to focus on these y values here. Now let's see, as we move from that first y value of 3 to our next y value of 8, what have we done to get from the 3 to the 8? We've added 5, haven't we? Let's just check the next value as well to get from 8 to 13. We've added 5 again. Well, that change in our y values, that's equal to our gradient. So this table of values has a gradient of 5. And if we also look at this here, when x is equal to 0, y equals 3. Well, that gives us our y-intercept. And if we look at those two, gradient 5, y-intercept of 3, well, we can see here our equation y equals 5x plus 3 has a gradient of 5 and a y-intercept of 3. So we match them up. Now let's look at part B. Look at our y values again, going from our first y value of 5 to our second y value of 2. We're going down, aren't we? So taking away. And in this case, we're taking away 3. Let's just check the next one from 2 down to minus 1. Well, we're minusing 3 there. So our gradient's equal to minus 3. And if we look at the value when x equals 0, y is equal to 5. So our y-intercept is equal to 5. Which equation matches up to that one? There it is there, gradient of minus 3, y-intercept y of 5. So y is equal to 5 minus 3x. Now part C. Check our y values again. We get from 5 up to our 8. Well, we're adding 3 there. From 8 to our 11, adding 3 again. So gradient of 3 for that one. And when x equals 0, y equals 5, giving us our y-intercept. Checking off our equations. Gradient 3, y-intercept of 5. There it is there. So our equation is y equals 3x plus 5. Now for our last one. Check our change in y values. Minus 3 changing to 2. It's going up. And it's going up by 5 or adding 5. Then from 2 to our y value of 7. Once again adding 5. So there's our gradient. Positive 5. Now when x equals 0. Our y equals negative 3. So there's our y-intercept as well. Check that value off in our equations. Well, there's only one left, isn't there? This one here. Gradient 5, y-intercept of minus 3. So our matching equation is y equals 5x minus 3. Fantastic work there. That's our lesson on finding the equation of the line finished. All the best now as you work your way through the exercise.